well, like, I didn't have much time to prepare anyway. And then a week, or maybe like two weeks after getting it, I booked another job, flew off, did that film, came back, and I had maybe like a week off to prepare for Versus before we started that. So I literally had no time. And we, we tried as hard as we could. Like there was guys coming in and helping me out and teaching me and trying to basically just drill into me how to do these raps as best as, as possible before we started shooting because I literally had no time. And in the end, like you literally just have to pull it out. Do you know what I mean? And just, you have no choice but to do it and be good at it. Out of being Adam, and then taking on this extra element, something you've never done before, mm. it, 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 the idea of performing musically, what, what, which was easier to kind of slide into? Was it was it Adam's skin or was it was it the the rap battle? To me, acting's not about um, like becoming someone else. A lot of people, it is, and that's what they get get off on is moving into someone else's skin. But it's never been that to me. To me, it's always about I just play myself. I do best when I'm just me and I'm just existing and just like bearing it up on camera. I think that's where, and Adam is me and he was from the start, you know, both had crazy upbringings and similar struggles. And it's weird. Like I was a boxer for a very long time before I was an actor. Like the whole idea of this like rap thing, it is similar to boxing because it's just you and one other person. No one's going to jump in. No one's going to help you. You have to, you have to hold your own. Mm. You have to not crumble under the pressure and everyone's watching and that's a big part of it. So I think that was the main, that was the way that I saw it as, oh, it's not so different from how I grew up or things that I've done. You know, I took that into it. And when you say about how you grew up, because because right from the off, we see Adam has a very volatile um, life. Right. He, 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 his existence. I mean, how, clo I mean how, how, how close was that? Because he's moving from a sort right. of home and accommodation to accommodation. So his, you know, his mum left him when he was, when he was really young and my, my mum died when I was a kid, when I was six or seven years old. So I knew what it was like to bounce around different homes as a kid. It was just, that was my life for a long time. So I knew, I knew what it was like to feel, and obviously the circumstance is different because my mum, she didn't choose to die and leave mm. me. But you, when you're a kid, you don't understand that. And to you, your parents just left and they've abandoned you anyway. And growing up, I know what it's like to grow up with, uh, grow up with something missing and to not know what it is, and to grow up without a maternal figure as well. Right. There's also this thing of like, if you've grown up rough, and you've grown up in a, in, a, in a situation where people are always, you're always being taken away, or you're doing something wrong, so you get taken away, or people are pushing you away, which I had grown up a lot as a kid, you start to build up this like survival technique or mm -hmm. formula, which is if I don't get close to other people, then it doesn't hurt if they leave me, or if I have to leave them. And he's he's that, that's all he does he has this wall up all the time for the, through like a fear of abandonment and stuff like that which i i still have that now like i'm a, i speak like i have it all, I, I, I talk like i have it all together but i suffer i'm like a 21 year old kid i suffer with all of this stuff still every time i watch this film i cry and it's the difference between like actors know when they do a hard scene and they fake it and you know you know you faked it do you know what i mean but i did not like Every, this was just, I just bared my soul. And it sounds, I hate it because it sounds kind of wanky and like pretentious to be like, I bared my soul on camera. But I like, I did, but it cost me a lot. And it was the hardest thing I've ever done in my life. And I think, more, less than I think it is helpful for me now, I think it's going to help other people that have been in that situation to show that there is like, you can, it doesn't matter where you came from or the circumstances, that you're only a victim of circumstance if you allow yourself to be.